hook I'm going to use is 5.5 millimeter crochet hook this yarn uh, you can see it's like kind of glittery it's not glitter you can see it's it's very soft and nice yarn okay and this is three play you can see three strings okay so I'm going to use this yarn um, and first uh, the measurement we need to take the measurement the me the neck circumference so the next uh, next circumference here I need is uh, 17 inches okay I need 17 inches circumference so I'm gonna make a, a chain for 16 inch okay 16 or 15 inch let's see then I will tell you once I little bit stretch and I need to get 17 inches okay I made a slip slip knot and I'm going to make a chain okay one two three four five six seven eight nine so you can see I have total here 56 stitches see from 0 to uh, without stretching I am getting around 15 and half okay without stretching I am getting around 15 and half when I stretch I am getting around 17 inches that's how you need to take the measurement okay without stretching I am getting around 15 and half to 16 when I am stretching I am getting 17 inches if you are taking a chain for 17 inches and while you are stretching it will be uh, more uh, bigger okay so I am getting here um, 56 uh, stitches uh, 50 stick so this 56 this 56 I'm going to see we are going to make like a six corners okay like this so this is first second third four five six we need six corners so I'm going to minus that six corner so I'm getting 50 okay this 50 I have to divide into six part okay divide into six so when you divide you need here four here four here eight here eight here eight 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 okay um, so we need to divide into equal part here why I am making four is here is the opening okay so if like this I am getting 48 total how many stitches 48 stitches only I can equally divide into 6 so I'm um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus 2 stitches from here okay so it's going to be for 54 54 minus 6 I will get 40 okay if it's one stitches is lacking one stitch you're getting extra so you can add that one stitch here but here I'm uh, I'm the calculation I'm getting two stitches extra so either I have to add here or here 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 okay if it's only one stitch I can add in the back side but I'm getting two stitches so I I want the shoulder part to be equal so this two stitches I can't add back side or back side if uh, adding two uh, maybe it will be more bigger and I can't divide that one equally here okay so this will be bigger so uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make for 54 stitches if you want you can add one stitch here one stitch here but I don't want to add because we will make again after finishing we will make again the corners so when we are making corners we will get again here 
uh, front we will get again one more one or two lines uh, i'm not sure so i don't want to add here so i'm going to make this 54 stitch 56 stitches into 54 stitches just calculate like this whatever chain you are getting you need to make like a divide divide into um six okay so what i'm going to do is i'm removing two stitches one and two so now i have how many stitches i have now 54 stitches okay so this 54 stitches i'm going to make two more chain one two so i will have one two and this third so this is going to be our first double crochet so this is going to be like this so this is 54th double crochet so here i'm going to make one double crochet so now we have two double crochet stitches you can see we need to make four double crochets okay so one two three and four okay and then fifth stitch is we are going to do our increase this is fifth stitch so here one double crochet okay and then make chain two and the same stitch and the same stitch make one more double crochet okay see and then we need to make eight double crochet in each stitch okay so one two three four five Six, seven, and then eight. Okay, so after that, we need to do our increase here one double crochet and then make chain two, and the same stitch I'm going to do one more double crochet okay hope you understand see this uh, this yarn the stitches is not too much visible okay and then again we are going to work eight double crochet one two three four five six seven and eight okay and the ninth stitch what we are going to do is our increase okay here one double crochet and then make chain two and the same stitch one more double crochet okay continue same as this okay end of this row okay so the ending you will have four stitches okay see i'm going to finish this row so i made increase here and then remaining four stitches front we need four four stitches okay so this is one two two three and four okay so now you can see this is going to be 
like this okay so this corners we are going to do increase we are going to keep on increase this one okay uh, and hope you understand i get total 56 for my calculation but i want uh, divide into 6 equally so that's why i i minus 4 stitches uh, sorry 2 stitches so i get 48 equal which i can divide equally after you made uh, um after after uh, this 54 stitches okay i made again two chain and i calculated one two and the 54th chain is three this is our first double crochet and the next two next stitch this is 53rd okay this is 54 the next chain i made one double crochet okay and here and here i made one double crochet okay so this is the the beginning how i did uh, this one okay hope you understand so the next row the next row make chain 3 1 2 3 and then turn your work and this is our first second stitch so 1 this is our first double crochet the chain 3 and this is 2 3 4 5 okay the 5 means which we did the double crochet increase you can see this one 5 and again here is the increase here the chain 2 gap make one double crochet chain 2 again make one more double crochet in the chain 2 gap and then here again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 8 9 and then 10 okay why we get 10 because we in previous row we increase one here one here so we get 10 here okay and then this chain 2 gap one double crochet chain 2 and one more double crochet in the same stitch okay and again 10 double crochets okay one two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten okay ten double crochet now we are in the chain 2 gap inside the chain 2 gap make one double crochet chain 2 again one more double crochet in the chain 2 gap okay continue work same as this end of this row okay going to complete this row okay this is one two three four and this is our last stitch five okay so after second row let's see it looks like this okay now 
let's do the third row nothing special we are going to follow same as that 1 2 3 okay turn your work and the next stitch double crochet so this is our second double crochet 3 4 5 6 okay after 6 we are in chain 2 gap so here 1 double crochet chain 2 again 1 more double crochet and then here 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. And then chain 2 gap. 1 double crochet. 1 double crochet and then chain 2 again 1 more double crochet in the chain 2 grab gap ok so please continue work same as that ok so here you will get uh, you can see here you will get here we made 8 ok and then 10 and then 12 and then 14 like that 2 2 increase here but the front here here also 2 2 increase when we keep both together but if it's separate you will do 1 1 increase so here 4 5 6 like that 1 1 increase okay continue increase continue work the desired size you want okay that's it once I complete all I'll show you then we can do the corners so I have completed as you seen in the picture um, if you want you can make longer I have only I I have only two balls of this and I have only two balls of this so i'm going to finish this one i don't have any more so i'm going i was planning to make two rows on the um, side like this here but i don't as i don't have enough yarn so i'm going to make just corner stitches all around okay so what i'm going to do is see here i have completed okay so now I am this is double crochet stitch so inside there I'm going to make slip stitch and then chain one again inside here slip stitch chain one and next double crochet stitch slip stitch chain one again same double crochet stitch slip stitch chain one and the next one okay slip stitch chain one again slip stitch chain one again inside here slip stitch chain one again same double crochet stitch slip stitch chain one okay so each uh, this double crochet stitch inside you need to put two slip stitches okay so i made chain one see this is first slip stitch and chain one and this is second slip stitch and then chain one okay and next one next double crochet stitch inside slip stitch chain one again slip stitch chain one and this one next double crochet stitch slip stitch so 
slip stitch chain 1 slip stitch chain 1 slip stitch chain 1 slip stitch chain 1 okay same here slip stitch chain 1 slip stitch chain 1 slip stitch chain 1 slip stitch chain 1 okay again slip stitch chain 1 slip stitch chain 1 and here slip stitch chain 1 again inside slip stitch oops slip stitch chain 1 slip stitch chain 1 slip stitch chain 1 so you can see you will have nice stitch like this okay continue work same as this until here then I will show you how to work on the neck so now I am going to do the neck part you can as you can see I have completed the side now I'm going to do the neck part okay so here is our first stitch okay so there slip stitch chain one and then here is the second stitch slip stitch chain one here is the third slip stitch chain one slip stitch chain one again here slip stitch this is our first corner chain one again slip stitch chain one again slip stitch chain one slip stitch chain one slip stitch chain one again slip stitch chain one okay so continue work same as this slip stitch chain one slip stitch chain one okay like this uh, all around the neck and go down and finish it here okay so i have completed this edge as well both the uh, corner you can see i have completed both side and the neck okay now i have little bit yarn so i'm going to work here as well okay the down part as well down what i'm planning to do is so i'm going to make single crochet in each stitch okay so this is the first stitch okay single crochet one two three after third single crochet make chain three okay then the first chain one two three and the first chain down see the back side you can see a bump okay this bump i'm going to make slip stitch here okay then again from the next stitch single crochet one two three okay you will have like this okay then one two three you can do here or you can do also down this two stitch okay slip stitch like this maybe we can make like this because this one little bit small okay so again one single crochet two three okay three single crochet then 
See, here is the one we are going to make. See, this two. Okay. So, one, two, three, and down here we can make slip stitch like this. And again, one, two, and three. And then make chain three. Okay. And you can make here this and this. This two loop. And make slip stitch there. Okay. Again. One. Two. Three. And then one, two, three. Down here in front of you. You can see down two loop this one insert there and make a slip stitch okay work same as this end of next corner okay as you can see i have uh, completed all this see the edges i made like this so I have to finish here you can see how beautiful it is so I'm going to put three buttons here this butterfly buttons and then also the sleeve part you can see I can't cover it all in this because it's too big so this both sides see you can see the side see side is like this so here i am going to put one button here so this hole is going to be the hand okay and also i'm going to put one button here okay i'll put i will put inside here like this then if we want we can make it here like this okay that's it i am i'm going to join uh, this here this buttons with the small needle okay that's it thank you for watching hope you like this video thank you please subscribe my channel